Second referee, Mr. Patrick Alan Castillo. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Signal HD Spikers. Let's start off with their team captain, jersey number three, Rachel Ann Dacis. At number two, Rosalind Doria. Wearing jersey number seven, Frances Simia Molina. At number eight, Angeli Pauline Araneta. Number 18, Marivic Belaine Meneses. And number 22, Maria Angelica Cayuna. Libero. Number nine, Fatima Bia General. Head coach, Mr. Cesael Shaq De Los Santos. Calling on our F2 Logistics, Argo Movers. Team captain is our guest player from the USA, Lindsay Stalzer. At number two, Abigail Marano. Wearing jersey number eight, Elaine Casilla. Number nine, Kim Fajardo. Wearing jersey number 11, Kim Kiana D. Number 16, Ivy. Keith Latsina. Libero, number five, Don Nicole Makandili. Head coach, Mr. Benson Bok Bok. This match is under the regulation and supervision of the games and the music. And your starting lineup for the Signal HD Spikers. We got uh, Angie Aneta, Rose Doria, Dakis, General Molina, Meneses, and Cayuna. And moving on to the other side, still no Kale Mao. As you see, we have Likatsilag coming in today. Uh, at the beginning of the game, of course, Kaf, Abby Marano, Don Macandili, Ivy Laxina, KKD, and Lindsay Stalser. You know, it was somewhat a big deal, no? Uh, Paneng na hindi nakalaro si Kalei Mao in that last game, that F2 play. But she is suited up today, but she's not starting. So we will see if she'll actually get a chance to get some playing time after that uh, four cap muscle. Signal versus score. There with a the serve. Oh! That was a miscommunication there on the side of the F2 Logistics cargo movers. I think I Ivy Laxina was waiting for the big quick set from Kim, but it was just too low for Ivy. And Signal already with two points here. Scoring first. Banggit natin kanina sa ating opener. Paneng na talagang very crucial for both teams to win as quickly as they can. Which will probably make for a long game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, both, especially now, Signal is having a good game here, start of the first set, leading by three points. And we can hear the crowd really getting excited very early into this match. And we have the whole Shebang, nandito na yung ating mga the, the drum corps, nandito yung mga screaming fans ng F2 and Signal, of course. Also, dalidala din nila yung kanilang fan base. So, alam nila na mahalaga yung panalo dito. And finally, that was a good cross-court oh, oh. attack by, Ses by Araneta. Now looking at this replay, good reverse set there from Cayuna, leaving only Kasilag on the block for the F2 side. That is a great approach, great attack by Angeli Araneta. Sabi ng fans ng F2, you know, they waited very long for F2 to be able to play again in this conference. 
And they are kept off of the scoreboard up to this point. Ah, ang tagal din nila. But finally, F2 Logistics with a point signal with four. Franny Reyes has a report. Franny? No Kalema out the start, but she told me how she contributes to her team. She's the firecracker, the one who keeps energy consistent despite any things that have happened in the previous game. She told me that she keeps that same energy in-game on the bench as she does in practice. Now, she also told me that against the Harry, things go wrong when they dwell on their mistakes, and that's what happened. So for today's game, it's about moving forward and pushing forward. Now, F2 is at its best when everyone plays for each other because after all, they are a family, and we can expect the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers to dig deep, especially because they're here now with a shot at the semis. Now, she also told me that she has a message for the Signal HD Spikers. She wants them to play their best because they know what to expect from them, and we're in for a really, really good match. Back to the panel. All right, no doubt about that, Franny, and we saw Kalimau, just with all of her energy coming from the side, talaga nakakahawa yun. And nakita natin, she brings, she flashes that big smile. And I'm sure that is felt by her teammates on the floor. But yes, oh, especially, no, yung mga ganitong situation, yung positive vibes talaga, is makakatulong sa buong team. And now, itong um, Signal HD Spikers started this game with a high note and looking at this challenge. Mukhang wala, mukhang malinis. Let's see what the decisions are. Ah! There is a touch. There was well, a touch. I stand corrected. Tignan mo. Ito, well, it's very, very slight. You see the right pointer finger, it seems, or was it the left? I think it's either left or right uh -huh. pointer finger of Kiana D. Well, it, at any rate, that is considered a. So there was. There was a touch. And that one sailed out, so it looks like they're giving the point to Signal. Yeah, because I think that was coming off from an attack sa open mm -hmm. ng Signal. And then it touched, the, it touched the pointing finger of Kiana D on the block. And as we see, umpisa pa lang talaga, they're using their challenge cards already. Those who are just noticing this, we do have the challenge system. Two challenges per set. They're not... Uh, Carried over, so our teams really take advantage of those challenges. F2 with their second point. And Elaine Casilag, as we say, starting today in the absence of Kale Mao. Oh, oh wow. what a serve! It was an almost, uh, no, no, there were four touches there on the side of Signal. Yeah, you, you saw the float of Kasilag's service. Yan yung sinasabi mo, lalo ko pa rin sinasabi mo, napabasa mo yung, ano eh. Yung brand. Yung mo yung brand. <laughs> and our local, local hero na talaga. It's like she's a local, si Priscilla Rivera. Everybody loves her and identifies with her. Alam mo yung pagkalatina niya, kasama niya, of course, Coach Nabito. Napamahalalo sa ating mga Pilipino eh. And she had a monster game last time out here at Araneta against F2. And she's now just enjoying the action on the sidelines, Priscilla Rivera. Kim Kiyanadi is dug by Jel Cayuna. And we have a great rally going here. Stalzer wants to end it. She goes over the two-man block. That was good coverage there. Coming from Don Makandili, that's good set by Kim Fajardo with the finish of Stalzer looking at this replay. Talagang pinalo niya on top of the blockers at taas ng reach ni Stalder. And that's a great point. A well-earned point. Longest rally we've had so far. And Signal medyo napako sa five points. Kasila will give them their sixth point off of that service error. But still a pretty close one. And like we said, panayang hindi malayong magtatagal ulit tayo dito. That's right, Chiki. Uh -huh. Kanina, ang ganda ng start nitong Signal now with 5-1. Uh, and one, But this time, F2 was able to cut the lead to only two points. Doria here with a serve. That's a good reception. Stalzer will go up. She thinks it over. Kayuna is there for the cover. Angeli Aneta, Aneta gets it. Pass the two-man block. Yeah, Aneta using the hands of Ivy Laxina. Medyo pahabol sa blocking zone si Ivy. Hindi siya nakapwesto ng maayos. Now, let's look at this replay. 
tumalsik sa right arm nito ni Ivy yung last attack na yon ni Araneta. And that's already two from Araneta, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's right. Two yes. points already from her. So, strong start for Anjali Araneta. It's good to have really signals players all coming together and contributing. This is what they need. It has to be a team effort. Oh, wow! Both feel good. Let's see if they manage to keep it in play. They do. Cap. A quick Kianati that works. That was a good back quick attack by Kiana. That was a double quick attack actually played coming from F2 Logistics. You see Ivy going for the A quick and Kiana on the back quick naman. One block na lang yung naiwan dun sa kanya. Talagang it worked, no? Na-confused talaga yung blockers ng Signa. Like you mentioned, these are the top blockers, uh, top blocking teams one and three. So it's gonna be that kind of game today. This is gonna be an overpass. But somebody was at the net. No, it, the ball was actually already on the side of the F2 court, and Kayuna is in the back row. Uh huh. Is that too much? Too much? Uh oh. No, she, she was trying to set that one, but pero na sa side na na F2 yung ball lah. That was overreach already for Kayuna. She desperate attempt really to save the ball. That's a good serve. So oh. Marina will score off of that one. And Maxina and Casila there. Well, lack of communication maybe, or they didn't they probably thought it was gonna say loud. In any case, Signal maintains the lead in our first technical timeout. 8-6 is the score. We'll be back. Signal postpaid for more super loaded bonding moments. Get free three months and more when you subscribe today. Call 8888-5555 now. Back to the game. After logistics scoring after that first technical timeout, getting just a point within Signal. Earlier, Signal enjoyed a five-point lead. They waited until five points until Signal decided to get on the scoreboard. No? So, medyo gumaganda na. Umiinit na ang F2 dito. Kim Kianji with a serve. And that's a free one regalo para sa Signal. So, maagang Pasko. Um, coming off from a good service ito ni Kiana D. There was an over-reception there kay Araneta. Uh, sorry, kay Cez Molina. And you, you could already see that the F2 cargo movers are already using their strong serves. Kaya na, nahihirapan naman ito makakuha ng good first ball ng signal. That's certainly working for the F2 logistics. But we know that they are also very strong serving team. The one that serves the game. Yes, actually, CF2 is the second, second best serving team for this conference. Oh, no, na hala ng cream line after that last game that they played. Uh oh. <laughs> Signal comes in third, too, so we expect this kind of thing <laughs> coming from Cess Molina and company. Signal, service ace for Cess. That was the first service ace for this game. And ito nga, sabi natin, nag-iinip pa. I was covering the game with F2 with Coach Babes. And sabi nga, napansin din niya na F2 talaga tends to ano, take a while to yes. heat up, no? Uh -oh. Parang diesel. Pero once they're there, they're unstoppable. Yeah, actually, nung um, kami sa Lasal, no, with some of the cargo movers, 
minsan natatawag kami Team Diesel. Uh -huh. Kasi ang tagal namin mag -inet. But this time naman, slowly, dumidigit ang score nitong F2 Logistics. One point advantage na lang ang signal. Very closely contested first set. Turns out, it was not this way when we started. It was a big lead for signal right off the bat in the first set. But look at this, F2 just within a point. Stalls are at the serve, and that is a service error. A rare one, we don't usually see stalls or with the service errors, but ito rin, alam ko, sabi mo nga that you uh, make a big deal, or you, your, this system, no, the LaSalle system, really puts a lot of weight on the services. So allow all of the errors that will happen in, uh, in the beginning. They si you size up your opponent, you see what kind of service you'll be giving them. more time on that last play. That was a good running attack there by Abby. Actually, that's one of her um, no, signature. strong uh, uh, signature attack, itong running, running or slide attack. And if you were joining us from the beginning of the coverage, we saw that really very touching and point in the story of Abby Marano, how she made her way up to this point, managing to lead the national team as captain when she didn't even think she was going to go pro as a young volleyball player. Meanwhile, nice back set there for Angel Cayuna. And that's a perfect kill there for... Was it Doria? Yeah, it was Doria. Actually, itong, um, si Ivy na expect na, na si Cayuna is a set niya on the open, but yung last back set niya kay Doria worked well because only one blocker was left there for her. And again, Cayuna with a good service. Sabi nga natin, number two and number three best serving teams in the league, and Jel Cayuna has always been known to be a heck of a server. She still is the best server in the league. Casilla with that down the line kill. So, papatayan din natin kung ilang service is si Jel ngayon. So far, she's had 11 service aces in this conference. But Casilla with that down the line, that's what a beauty. Left side now. Check ball. There was a check ball. And it was awarded to the Signal HD Spikers. And then you mentioned a while ago, Shiki, na yung service aces nito ni Kayuna. Coming into this game, she has one service ace na. Mm -hmm. So, babantayan natin. Oh, there's another challenge now. This is already the second challenge for Team F2 in this first set. Black touch, though, yeah, they're challenging. Black touch. Then that's what we've gone over, no? Yung mga suki na natin dito sa volleyball, alam na nila na each team has two chances to challenge per set. Actually, two chances to make a mistake. For as long as you're getting the challenge right, you can keep doing it. Hindi nila tatanggalan yung, yung letter C na nakikita uh -oh. nyo sa scoreboard. <laughs> Yon, that will remain there habang tama ang Challenge, a challenge. Yes. But that was actually a tough call now because yung um, palo is actually going outside now. Mm -hmm. But like we said, this is an all important game for F2, and they are trying to, both teams actually trying to not only win it, but win it in as little sets as possible because we're at that point, no? Uh, mm. Panang na sobrang dikit, sobrang sikip for that fourth spot. We also know that the coaches sometimes use the challenge to think about it. Kung anong kalalabasan ito. I think there was no touch. And that is the call that they wanted, no? Yes, well, masyadong mataas yung bola. And clearly, there was no touch there on the blockers of the F2 cargo movers. So that is a successful challenge by F2. And they will get the ball. They will get the ball back now. That was a close, no? Oh, oh. That was a good challenge there by Coach Benson. 12-13. First set. For those of you just joining us, both teams still in uh, fighting form and still with a chance to get into the fourth spot. This is their second to last game of both teams. Nice, deep shot there. Zone 6 empty. Rachel and Dacus. Now, looking at this replay, there were two blockers in front of Rachel, but she was able to squeeze that in in the cross court. 
Saktong sakto sa zone 6. Perfect execution for Rachel and that is Silag down the line, but that one is, oh, there's a... There was a check. Oh. Yes, kay General. She was actually there ready for the down the line attack by Kasilag, but hindi nga lang siya nakapwesto na maayos dahil medyo alanganin eh. Parang if you're there, it was, you, you think that it was going out. But biglang sakto sa zone 5. Look at Kasilag already with 3 points. And that was service ace. Make that 4 points for Kasilag. She is uh, having a good day. Kasilag definitely in the zone. That's right, for the F2 side, the, their top scorers for the first set now is Stalzer currently with 5 points and si Kasilag with 4 points. Talagang right up there with a the reinforcement. Oh, oh, good support for Stalzer. Oh, wow, it's a great combination attack, Gloria, with a the decoy there. Yeah, you, you, you can see, no, na nag-work itong mga quick attackers na signal Asian spikers na hindi, hindi sila masyado nabibigyan ng ball and the A quick because we know that um, F2 is a good blocking team. So, si Kayuna really activa activating all of her spikers and med medyo naliligaw niya yung blockers itong F2. Jel Kayuna doing well not only in the service department, but of course, her setting also. She is currently fourth best setter in the league. And if she keeps going like this, she might improve her standings, no? Jelka Yuna is really orchestrating well. Look at that defense by Kim Kiana D. Ball is recycled. Oh. That one gets fast. Ball makadili, medyo uh, off position. Masi Don was not where she needed to be. 16-14 signal still with a lead by two after this technical timeout. We'll be back. Papansin ninyo, si Clabria, may, may highlights ang kanyang hair. Although, naka-ponytail eh. But it's so nice to see that these girls really find a way to treat themselves once in a while. Oo, oh, oh, parang oh, me good. time, right? Hindi yung... Um, <laughs> Siyempre, sobrang pagod mo na na everyday training and then going to a competition. So it's really important to have that um, balance and yung kung saan ka makakarelax. You know, we got a glimpse there of Tybiera, who, by the way, has not played yet. No, we haven't seen her on the court. Or... That's right. It's an all-Filipino lineup here now for Signal HD Spikers. Look at that. Look like they need a reinforcement right now. Signal looking good against the F2. Logistics cargo movers. Three-point lead by Signal in this first set. Calls her. Oh, she overshoots, and she's asking for a she's asking for a check ball, but she's not gonna get it. Seems, and Coach Benson is not gonna waste his uh, challenges. No, talagang gusto niyang makita. Yeah, especially if you're the spiker. Sometimes maririnig mo yung check ball sa blockers, eh. Mm. And um, Stalzer was the one who told Coach Benz that there was a touch. Etong tanong ko sa yo, when you go up for a block, paneng, lagi mo bang madaram daman kung may check ball or meron bang times na feeling mo talaga hindi mo na check pero makigita na ano ba yan? There are times talaga na hindi mo siya mafeel lalo uh, na pag sobrang nipis na. Uh -huh. And ang bilis ng rallies, al 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 dami na nang yare. So, ganun kahalaga talaga itong challenge system na to. Oo. Oh, oh. Min minsan, kung ikaw yung blocker, magugulat ka rin. Ah, may check nga pala. <laughs> oh. And that is what Coach Benson really wants to see happen. Because from the way it looked, 
parang wala eh, parang clean. Even that's even nga the, the call that was made, that was the referee's call, and that's the challenge. Again, all important games, the points, even the points nga eh, not just the sets that you win, mm -hmm. parang kung ano yung layo ng score. All of this coming into play because of the the situation coming into the semifinals where it is so tight to get into that fourth spot. Yeah, and also itong set first set it was actually close. Kanina um, Signal only has one lead and now it's up by 3 points already. So onti-onting dumidikit ang F2 my time sa lumalamang mm -hmm. din ng malaki ang Signal. Now let's look at this challenge replay. Wow! I think that there was. Wow! Yeah. yeah, just like what I mentioned, sometimes you don't, you won't feel that there was a check, especially if the ball is high. And I look at this replay. If you look at the stalls are right at the bottom right, parang she's looking straight at the hands of the blockers, and she has a. Sabi mo nga, the blocker might not notice na tumama, pero siguro yung attack talaga tiitig na niya yon. Oh, oh, and we know stalls are yung. Um, spike niya, ang taas ng reach niya sa bola. Mm -hmm. Most of her attacks are cross-court or above the blocker. Yeah. So, really, that there's a high chance that makakuha siya ng check from the blockers. Of course, experience also behind this player was played all over the world. 28 years old and very experienced. So, alam niya eh, she knows. She knows these things. That was a really good challenge. Like, Coach Benson, that was outside. And F2 just no. looking good here. Still trying to play catch up though against Signal. And now Signal is the one who's going to have a block touch challenge. Because Rachel was, was telling the coaches also that there was a block touch. Let's see if Ganunda na magiging fate ng signal. Of course, they're in the same situation. They want to burn these challenges. Kasi sayang din eh. Hindi naman ki carry over. And. We will see. This is a, really a game changer, these challenges. No? Take a look at what this video will show us. That one is. Yan, medyo mo Oh, I oh. think there is. And the, and the oh. pinky. Oh, and Abby, there was. Wow, tit for tat, pane. Yes. That was a good challenge. Yeah. My good shock. And he was shock. smiling about it. Kitang kita mo. Basang basa sa mukha ni Coach Shaq oh. kung kinalabasan nung challenge na yon. So Signal extends their lead to three. This answer, nice stop. Kim Kiana D going cross court, finding zone six of Signal this time. MD. That was a good point. Yeah, that, that was a good opposite attack by Kiana. That, that was one of her um, strong strong sides, no? Yung kanyang cross court on the opposite. And, you know, KKD has really impressed and really made her FP fans believe in her so much more. Lalo in the past few games, she has really stepped up for her team. Ayan, even on defense. On defense, right. Pakasipag. Cesc Molina using the hands of the blockers. Yeah, that was three blockers in front of her. But knowing says her volleyball smarts, talagang ginamit na lang niya yung kamay ng kanyang mga blockers. Looking at this replay, parang inantay niya, lumabas yung, um, yung ma ma ma-position ni Abby, yung blocking niya. Mm. Tsaka niya pinalo palabas. Talagang swipe eh, no? We were talking about Cesc Molina in our pre-game. How important it was that she brings her A-game today. Stalser is dug by Cesc, but that one's a little... Too strong, but then keep it in play. Seventeen, nineteen. Kali oh, Mouse. Yes, that's why inside the court oh. now for F two. Yeah, nararam daw mo na dito sa big dome. The medyo the excitement just amps up a little more, and that is because of Kali Mouse's presence on the court. She was sorely missed. You know, actually, see, play Kalema wanted to play in that last game pa against Akari. Gusto niyang pumasok. Siyempre, yung coach ayaw. Diba? It, it, siguro madalas ganun. <laughs> the players are ready, but I guess, you know, the, the, the coach, teaching team, and maybe the, you know, the, the doctor, the player, so, yeah, parang it's not well advised. We have a timeout here by Signal. Establish tayo tapos, pagandahin lang natin. Kaya natin kailangan mabilis na play, mabilis na receive. Okay, setter na yung bahala, ha? Sige, pasa lang, up pa tayo ng one, ha? One stop lang, one stop, one stop. Happy na signal! 
Bakit hinihingi pa neng ng isang coach na bilisan ang game? No, um, actually, um, yung sinabi ni Coach Shaq doon is bagalan yung receive. Because um, we know that F2 is a um, strong, uh, strong service team. So they're using their um, services para makakuha ng ace or maka, mahirapan mag-receive itong signal. If, if they don't have a good first ball, mahirapan si Kayu na mag-execute ng play. Hindi niya magagamit yung mga spikers na, especially lahat yung quick attack ng Real, Real Meneses. I think that was the first time we We've seen that in this game. Yeah, also first time for Ryu Meneses, I think. Play the day, He's coming off the bench. So there is, uh, there are occasions where you want to speed things up, but there are also times when you want to slow it down. Yes, especially now na um, medyo patapos na tayo dito sa first set. And kung kung bigla nila babagulin yung tempo nila, mas mahihirapan sila mag-adjust bigla or para mas mararatel sila. Diba? Sumasabay sila sa bilis ng kalaban nila. Talk about rattling. Look at this F2. Just really, really giving signal a uh, run for their money here. They're not making it easy for signal. Nakalamang na ang signal ng halos tatlo kanina. Pero uh oh, eto na ang F2. Now we're back at the one point lead ng signal. That's a good reception there by Rad. Man block. Ball still good. Doria there saving the day. See if Kalema will go up. And she finds a back row scoring. Kalema being appreciated here by the crowd. Yeah, that was the first point here by Kalema. And look at her presence man inside the court. No? Good cross court attack there by Kale. And we saw all of the F2 squad really jumping for that point. She is bumped and the F2 logistic tying the game now at 20 apiece. Unfortunate service error by Chang Abi. Yeah, so far, it's si F2. Meron na silang tatlong service A, uh, service error for this set. That was three. Ano na? Um, parang three, three points na for Signal. Yeah. It, signal, man, on the other hand, wala pa silang service errors. Here's the best server of the league. Oh. And that all came from the serve, no? Dahil naka uh, over receive, kaya napalo. Yeah. Gloria. And actually, um, good coverage by Don Makandili, but it was just too strong. It sailed out. Mm -hmm. Middle, back row, and outside. Okay, simple play. Front center, opportunity, pagami butas. Okay, take it. If not, timing lahat dun sa mga spiker. Okay? One pass. One pass. Go on. Keep working lang. Big deep right here, this point. We got this, F2! Movers! First ball, first ball. Laking bagay din talaga that Kalemao is on the court. Not just for the skills and the brand of volleyball that she brings in. It's really just the the spirit that she she's contagious. Kasi, di ba? Nakaka, nakakahawa si Kalemao. Oh, oh. And actually, yung leadership din niya inside the court. Let's see if that translates to... A catch-up job here for F2 with Kale Mao and also Joy Baron. We're seeing the tall girls are all over the F2 side. Mao with a dip. Now with Doria, great job. That actually made you malay you don't see Kale for the dip, and Doria was able to have a good timing. Dahil kita ng kita niya yung slow in approach ni Tommy Kale Mao. I'm looking at this replay. Sakto ng sakto kay Doria. Saved there by Jel Cayuna. Kaf going to stall her from the pipe. That's too much. Too much for Jel. And F2 scoring again. Just a two point deficit for F2. Sayo naka, naka, they tied it already, pero nakikita natin, especially the late service errors are becoming a factor. Oh, para ang dalawa ng matasunod na errors yun for F2. Tapos si Kayuna na yung nag-serve. Well, one of the top, uh, top servers itong si Kayuna. That's right. Meantime, Rachel Andakis, the veteran from Signal HD. She loves the set point. She loves the situation. And she got her team to this point. Yeah, that was a good combination attack there by Rachel Dakis. 
Ito naman, napatay maout si Coach Bok Bok. One pass, and then one good spike. Let's go. First ball kill. Help each other out. Here we go. Yeah, let's call out that play, the trace, the cross. Here we go. Have to! Movers! Game, game, game. Sometimes you see Coach Bok Bok just allowing the girls to huddle and talk it out on their own. Yeah, and yun ang parang itong mga time out nagre to para lang makapag relax yung yung team and makapag usap na maayos within themselves. And that was actually just a simple instructions by Coach Bok and Abby Maranyo also. Na simple play lang. You have to start with a good receive first. And makaya pa nila mga kadikit pa sila sa score na signal. Set points here. Signal. That one is outside. Joy Baron with the error on the attack there, giving Signal their first win. 25-21, first set win, rather. And that was a good effort by F2 to really just keep in pace with Signal. But in the end, Medjo, the Lumayo ang kanilang score. And Signal is in good position now after this first set. We'll be back after the break. Just stay right there. Twenty-five, twenty-one. That's the score after the first set. It was a tough one. It was a very difficult, actually, for Signal to finally score that win. No, because F2 just kept coming at them. But in the end, I think the service errors got in the way for F2. And what else did you see there? It's actually the, for that set. No, it was a good start um, by Signal HD Spikers coming up from the good services of uh, Kayuna. Na nahirapan itong F2 sa kanilang mga first first ball, but yun nga as what you mentioned is that they were F2 was able to maintain a close score kay Signal, but during the latter part of the set, med dumame or naging magkakasunod yung mga errors na from the services from the off off spike. And we're looking at the statistics. Attack points, oh, same lang. Actually, 15 points. Nung block points, oh, two lang. Uh, two block points from Signal, one kay F2. Both teams had uh, two service aces. But looking at the errors, there's six service errors. Ah, uh, no, three service errors from F2. And then the last part naman yung mga misreceives nila and yung off, um, off spin attack. Medyo hindi yun nakatulong sa F2 squad. And um, parang yung set ni Kayuna for Signal, it was very consistent. She was able to activate all of her attackers, especially yung si uh, back set niya kay Araneta, yung mga combination attack. Really, na, nahirapan ang blockers itong F2 basahin yung mga sets ni Kayuna. And we saw the errors of F2 kind of came at the wrong time, pati yung timing ng mga errors. Oh, oh, it, was, it was already on the latter part of the set kung kailan, um, kung, kung kailan mas dikit na sila or nag-tie pa sila ng score, but yung errors nga yung um, nagpahirap sa side ng F2. And so now we're seeing an interesting combination of players on the court for F2. Lahat ng mga matatangkad yun na ba si, si Coach Po. Si uh, Majoy Baron there and Kale Mao and si Stalzer. Abi Maranya is still there. She started. Kim Lee is still there. And okay, this is, uh, ito rin eh, nakikita natin a hodgepodge. The last time it was Chola Alvarez who spent a lot of time on the court. Ivy Kaksinga also. So, we're seeing also, I guess, even see Coach Benson. Pinatan siya pa niya kung ano ba yung magandang combination. Oo, parang kanina. Okay naman yung start ng F2. But hindi nga lang yun nila na-sustain in the latter part. Because there were a lot of times na isa na lang yung natitirang blocker sa spiker ng signal. But we rarely see double blocks or triple blocks in the middle. Double block going up there. Mao was able to slow the ball down, pero medyo malayo si Don. No, I guess she's expecting na uh, mas ma, mas solid yung contact doon sa bola. So again, signal scoring first here in the second set. 
They already took the first one. 25, 21. Quick back, but Dot Makagdili, the ball went exactly where she was, but it just was too fast. One more time on that. Yeah, actually, Sakto, yung pwesto do di Don. Looking at this replay. Nice pato. And medyo, kita nato si Don holding onto her cheek. That was a legitimate facial. Good job, Jen Jack Lunella on the other side. Yeah, but her uh, share of diving. That's right, and um, coming off from that attack, Mi Kalemao, nakita na may net touch itong si Doria. Seven excellent sets so far for Kim Fajardo. Kaf is the second best setter in the conference up to this point, and this time Stalzer is uh, caught there at the defense. Point for signal. And so far for the signal spikers, among top scorers nila for this uh, first and second set, si Araneta and si Doria both with six points. And still we're not seeing uh, Beria on the court. So this is interesting development also. Franny Reyes has a report for us. Franny, what do you got? Yes, I actually, you know, everyone knows just how crucial today's game is. And I asked Jel Kayuna earlier in the dugout how she's feeling, if she has any nerves. And she told me she's relaxed lang. She's saving her energy for the game and kita naman just how well she's playing. She told me that after their loss against PLTT, they did some introspection. And she told me that personally, she felt she wasn't 100%. Pero walang sisihan. The game already happened, and now today it's about being one, and we're seeing more cohesion and communication on the signal side of the court. She told me this is do or die, and let's see if we'll be able to claim their second set back to the panel. Thanks so much, Franny. Yeah, do or die. It really it's like they're playing the finals here because they are trying to uh, fight for the chance to possibly play for the finals, but first they gotta get through the semis and. That is the fate of both teams. It's still unknown. Double block there. Jelka Yuna is able to get it up, but not in play. But maybe somebody has yeah, somebody. So, so somebody touched the net. Oh, oh. I think it was either Majoy or Stalzer. Stalzer going up, and that was too much for Riri Meneses. And that was a good combination attack by F2. I think that was the first time we saw Stalzer in the middle. I'm looking at this replay. Na iwan yung blockers na signal. Good decoy kay Majoy. Nakikita natin to very much to the system that you know, no? Paneng, ang dami mga combination plays. Very complex. And on the other side naman, may combination play din sila. I think it was the same play. Priya going on for the peak quick and Cesc Molina. Sakto sa middle attack. So two can play this game, sabi ng signal. And really, this is the kind of volleyball that we're seeing at this, at this level. Just really top caliber. Both setters doing really well. Just uh, orchestrating the plays on both sides. Kim Kianadi going up. Nice save there by Janela. Another quick one, Makandili also saving. Stalzer getting it off the head of Riri. That was a good open attack by Stalzer. Kayuna and Riri was there for the block, but Riri was a bit late and hindi siya nakapwesto na maayos. Yung braso niya, parang yung left arm niya medyo nakababa. Doon tumama yung palo ni Stalzer. Si Stalzer nakadalawa na against Riri Meneses. Finding a way to just get it off the block. We're now even at five apiece. You know what Kayuna wanted to do, Stalzer. Oh, that oh. was mistimed. Riri na una. Oh, oh, me mention na paaga yung approach ni Riri doon. And I think this is the first time na lumamang ang F2 sa scoring. Yes. They're not up by one point. All day, actually, because they did not lead at all in the first set. And Kim Kianadi still to score. She's been doing well at the back. Three uh, digs so far. Excellent digs so far. Pero hindi pa pumupunto si KKD. This time, Pop 
flat-footed there at the back. And Signal will get the point and the ball back. Yeah, so far for the F2 squad, it's, it is Stalzer and Kasilag who are the top scorers. But now we're not seeing Kasilag in the court. And Kiana has two points. For Stalzer, he actually hindi nyo na Watching at home, no? But right here in front of us, Stalzer practically where we are, just just going all out. Yes, oh, oh, talagang gusto makakuha ng panalo itong si Stalzer. Absolutely, look at that. Molina's fans, uh, Cesc Molina rather, Cesc Molina's fans all out. Stalzer down the line. You can see Stalzer variating her attacks from cross court and down the line. She's really um, looking at the defense pattern or studying the defense pattern of the signal squad. Facing cross court, the big lang papalui niya sa down the line. A cross body. That's a good. Oh, that's a good one. Making up for that service error she had earlier today. And F2 is at eight points first, and they lead in this first technical time. Follow my team, Gilas Filipinas. Watch and support Gilas Filipinas live in the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023. Follow my team, Pass Philippines, is now available to give you access to all five Gilas Filipinas games in the preliminary round. Purchase your tickets via register.worldcup.basketball. Hashtag win for all. We have a rally starting up here. Ruby Meneses with a running attack is dug by Kim Kiana D. Excellent in the defense so far. Cesc Molina just pushing the ball over. And another chance here for Sigma. Meneses, Kumabawe si Riri. Yes, we're seeing a lot of quick attacks here from the side of Signal. I think Kayuna is really activating her middle attackers because the first set it was mostly Araneta, Molina, and Dakis doing the damage for F2. But this time, coming into the second set, most of their scoring are coming from um, their quick attacks. And this is really what they need to do, just spread out the effort and get every Signal player to contribute to their game. From the pipe, is that a good enough pancake? I don't know. That's called dead nut. Dead yeah. ball. Uh oh, the the ball as a court. But now you can see Kayuna really setting the ball to everyone, yeah. not a front line man or back line. And you mga signal spikers are always ready. Sa mga isa set ni Kayuna. Playing against a very strong blocking team. Talking about the F2 was third in blocking. So you have to really get creative. With your attacks. Wow. That was so strong. Rinig na rinig. Ano oh. lutong? Ah, lutong. Grabe yung pipe attack na yun. Stalzer. We're seeing a lot of pipe attacks coming from her. But this time, good cross-court pipe there by Stalzer. Araneta was there actually for the defense. But it was just too strong. If you think about it, no? if you go from the pipe, talagang you can give your all. Bigay mo yung buong katawan mo kasi malayo ka sa net. Oo. And yung approach mo and yung power pa lang. Oh, oh. Kasi from the front, medyo kailangan kang pumigil ng konti. Oh, oh. That one was outside. Yeah, there was no block touch there. Kalimaw, yeah. yeah. 
Lapsing into errors here on the attack. Signal now up by a point, but this is a much closer second set. Sign uh, F2's offense working much better in the second set, no? Uh oh, but yung alang mahindi nila masustain yung mga um, transition plays nila, and also yung mga first ball, first ball good receive na hindi onti lang yung mga karating na sakto kay Kaf. Ah, and now decide to go soft this time. Hindi na yung mga power hit, lagay lagay. That worked for Kale Mao. Looking at this replay, nakita ni Kale yung butas sa gitna nitong signal defense. Actually, Doria saw it already, but yeah. she stopped lang because she also saw Kayuna. Uh, parang pa-approach siya to get that dig, but no one got that ball. Campfire situation there for signal. Oh, look at that block. Good oh. follow-up by Baron. Good cover by signal. Says Molina pushing the ball. Nice read there by Don Makandili. Stalls her, tries to finish, and she does. And stalls her. So consistent in the second set. F2 fans loving it. Yeah, up a front row man or back row. Stalls her is always ready. Now she all, already has 15 points. 13 are coming from attacks by Stalls her. And we're only in the second set. Midway or just getting started here in the second set. It's going to be a big one for Stalzer today. Oh, that was over. Now, Kayuna is in the back row, but uh, Jack Junela's first ball was a bit strong. Na pa over na. Kayuna was trying to set that one pa, pero hindi na abot. That point goes to F2, and they're now up by two points. And you know, interesting really that. See, Beria is still not on the court. I wonder if there's anything else to make of that situation. I don't know. Does she have an injury? Maybe we can have Franny Reyes check it out, or is this a simply a, a decision or a, a, a coaching a cho um, decision? But she is not in the game right now. She hasn't been. Yeah, but so far everything's working well for the Signal squad. <laughs> Slowly, to say F2 maintaining their two-point lead against Signal. During the first set, they were always playing catch-up, but this time, coming into the second set, it's the other way around the man. The Signal is the one who is going to win with the serve, and she's just going for the easy serves, not the jump serves yet. Says Molina pushing the ball. Styles are red that one. And this is going to be a free ball. Who will go to? Back set. Oh, but he was there. <laughs> Big okay. error, miscommunication there for the side of Signal. Araneta was the one who got the first ball, and I think Jell has a play in mind, but hindi sila nakaintindihan doon ni Araneta. Kaya napatawag naman ang timeout dito si Coach Shaq. Okay, oh, umpus. Umpus muna ulit tayo. Ha? Okay, sige. Communicate lang tayo at medyo naanoan tayo ng ball. Ang dami na natin nabibigay, ha? Okay, sige, sige, sige. Okay, okay. Lay lang, lay lang. Ay, may na-signal! Bawi lang, bawi lang tayo. Bawi lang natin, ha? This is the biggest lead Sigma F2 has seen. This set. Three points. Oo, three points. And that last one from... Uh, error on the side of Signal. Now, very rarely we see those errors from you know, the likes of Jel Kayuna. And actually, both spikers are ready, Sidoria and Araneta, for the combination play. But yun nga lang, walang tumuloy there on the slide or on the back set. Look at Stalzer. She is literally on the ball. Alagang. Her game is on. She's got the flow. And she just knows where to be. Yeah, all of the F2 squad joining their four-point lead here in the second set. And Kale Mao with that service error there. Siguro iinda pa rin inaalagaan niya yung injury niya, hindi siya masyadong tumatalon. We've seen, you know that. Yeah, she's, she's also one of the strong servers for F2, but uh, yung kanyang services, parang itong recent or previous services niya, parang tumatarget lang siya sa zone 2 mm -hmm. on the side of Araneta. Well, that's a good reception. 
Oh. And a good read by Riri Meneses. Oh. Ang bilis ng dating ng bola, oh. nanguli pa rin ni Riri. But si, si Kale was actually ready for the coverage, but medyo na, nagulat siya or naguluhan sa pwesto because all of her teammates were in front of her, na medyo tight yung space there. Reception. Doya serves. Stalser over the blockers. Nice dig by Red. Calf. Back set. Oh! Alam ko, buhay pa. Gandang bantay din nun. Because that was a quick one. Very deceptive. I don't. I didn't know that Joy Barone was going to go up for that. But apparently the signal blockers did. Yes, actually, itong drop ball. Drop ball from Kim Kiana. There may mention of off time yung drop ball na yun ni Kiana. But Joy was ready for the cover, but oh, nag ano lang, uh, sailed outside. Wag ganon. Uh, do something uh, everyone can see. O yung mga ganun ganon eh, ano magagawa natin doon? Uh, uh, very fast ball. Okay, try to control. Okay, try to control. She was looking at Don, no? si Coach Bok, when she was saying, "Wag ganon." But uh, parang he was reminding the whole squad that there was a lot of um, instances na medyo nagugulat sa coverage itong um, F2 na hindi na nakakapwesto na maayos. Kaya kanina lamang sila ng four points at this time only one point na lang ang lamang. Oh, off time. Yep. One-handed set. Baron makes up for that one. So she scores this time. Ginantaya naman niya si Ria Meneses. And F2 gets the 16 points first. They have a two-point lead against Signal in the second set. We'll be back. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Back at the Big Dome on this Saturday Volleyball Day. A great day for your PBL Green Force Conference. This is the penultimate day of competition in the preliminary round. We've got Signal and F2 battling it out, trying to still break into the semifinals with Stalser playing this way. F2 Logistics is really looking good in the second set. Especially to Stalzer, her very consistent coming into this game. She's the leading scorer for the F2 squad. And she's really doing everything no, for the uh, front line or the defense. Niya. Really go-to girl ito ng F2, si Stalzer. And of course, the changes now on the side of F2. We are seeing Kale Mao play today. Uh, and also, Ivy Lexina back on the court. She sat it out for... Uh, for a while with Majoy Baron uh, playing it now. She's back on the court. She's been quiet. See, Kiana D also a little bit quiet on the offense, but really helping out in the defense. But this is not a big lead by any stretch. Yes, it's only two points, and especially itong si Signal uh, already has um, double substitution. Ayo will do the setting job for them. Troncoso is in the opposite. Oh, and that one is outside of Sesquilina's attack. And Troncoso uh, and Ayala Estraniero now on the court also for Signal, like you mentioned, Paneng. So, see, Coach Shaq is trying a different combination of players, but still no barrier. Yes, and then si F2 also did the double substitution. Pinti Amazon back now on the court, and Iris Tolinada will be doing the setting chores for F2. Although we often see this coach Bok really alternating between Iris and Kaf. 
Yeah, and also uh, to maximize having three attackers in the front row. But that was a miscommunication, and see si Don and Kalemao nagkabanggaan Don, which just domino effect. That it just a domino into a, a, a bad pass. That's a good pass though. Yamson, nice stop there by Rachel Andakis. She goes up for the hit. Dokkakadili's there. Stalls her again. That was a oh, tough one. Yeah, that was a bit tight. A free ball here for Signal. Ayel pushing it out to Rachel Andakis. Oh, oh. that ball is still good. Oh, it was oh but it's outside. That was a good cover by Kale. And we know that football is her second favorite sport. So she, she really takes advantage of her talent in that sport. We often see her try to save the ball with her bodies. Parang easy lang yun for Kale. Good effort. Sayang, no? Yeah. Ivy Laxina dug by Cesc Molina in the back there. Rachel Andakis dug by Don Macandili. Oh, that was oh, outside. That was, yes, is there a touch? There was, there was no touch. Do mm. you smell a, a challenge here? Because I think they're saying there's no touch. Yes, in a hand of the Milan Canilang card. Yeah, now see coach. Bok Bok Naman. Insisting that there is a. Oh, hindi na nila tinolo yung challenge nila. It's 18 all. Oh, we'll see Darius finally on the court. Okay, now Darius. Bear is in the court now for Rachel Dakis. And of course, Chai Trancoso also in, and Dayal Estranero doing the setting for Signal now. Very key substitutions here at a very crucial time. warning. For the lead. Did we hear? It's hard to catch, no? Yeah, parang um, first referee told Stalzer na warning will be given to their team because of, uh, for delaying the game. Mm. Because at uh, first we saw that they were they were preparing for a block touch challenge, but hindi nila tinuloy. Samson going up. Oh, oh. good job! Just working with that underhanded set. That was a good cross court attack by Kiam Zon. And she is coming off the bench, so it's a good substitution. Kiam Zon right away contributing. Oh, nice cross court there. What a cut shot. Oh, oh it was a cut. Good reception by Janela. Kelly Mao, monster hit. Good open attack there by Kalei Mao. Medyo na, narinig mo may sigaw pa siya doon sa palo niya na yun, no? Grabe yung cross court niya. Sakto sa zone 6. Pati, pati siya, na, na. <laughs> she had to take the floor sa lakas ng palo niya. Ayel, gawa ka lang ng magandang play, ha? Abangan niyo yung mga dadaan sa ibabaw para may depensa tayo. Okay? Sige, sige, go, 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 go. So we got F2 looking really good here in the second set, but still not a comfortable lead. Dalawa lang yan. Yeah, this is still a close game. And now we're seeing Tiberia on the court. Wu is also in the front row. Mm -hmm. So we will expect a lot of set coming from Ayel to Viera. <laughs> Para sa ganito, po percento na sila para makadikit sa puntos because me medyo malapit na matapos itong second set. At nalik naman natin yun ang hinihingi ni Coach Shaq. Magandang set. And, oh! There was a net touch call on Ayel. Oh, that's an unfortunate turn of events for Signal. F2, on the other hand, taking advantage of that three point. That's a good 
serves good reception. The area going up, she is stopped. Kale Mao, that one is in, and she likes it. That Almost was her shoulder. That was inside for Kale. That was para grab yung cross court yeah. na yung angle niya na yun. You thought it was going out, but looking at this replay, sakto sakto. Oh, nga from our angle. Paneng pareho tayo na patigil kasi kala natin talaga lumabas dahil napaka napaka steep yung angulo talaga. Back is finding the ball. Ball is still on the side of F2. Ma will go up again and she's going cut shot one more time. Yeah, but that was uh, way outside naman yung kanyang cross court attack na yun. Yun naman lumabas. Even though it was stopped by the net. But they still have a comfortable three-point lead. They only need three points to close this set. That's a good really Vanessa serve. Jamstone timing it again. Oh! And the two na yan, nakita natin yung mga off-system na ganyan. Uh, si Tim Jamstone, hindi siya mapili, no? Oo, oh, oh. and actually, if you look at that last attack by Tiamazon, it was kind of parang off-spin or miss-hit. Sakto-sakto sa gitna ng defense pattern itong signal. And F2 Logistics now with 23. They really want to take this set. Now, nakauna ang signal. And again, like we uh, mentioned, this is all-out war between these two to try to get into the semifinals. And again, we have somebody at the net, Tim so on his yeah, she already knows. It. Oh. Yeah. So, swerte na na signal. Medyo nagka-tablahan lang sila dun sa mga unnecessary net violations. Yeah, it was her right shoulder nung pababa so coming off from the block. And now, Jelta Yuna is in the service area. We know that she's a yeah, good server. So, she's back on the court as a setter for signal. Uh, good, yeah, good first ball. And she had the receive and she had the kill. Kale Mao setting up F2 for set point in the second set. KKD coming back. Half coming back. And that was great attacks here. Consistent just in a row for Kale Mao. Yeah, kaya na siya na yung nagkuha ng first ball. It was a good first ball actually from Kale. Sa kanya pa si Net ni Iris. And that was a good attack, open attack from Kale. This is a broken play. Angeli Araneta is dug by Don Makandili. Mao again, and just pushing the ball. Says Molina was there this time, but not enough. And F2 Logistics fans going wild as the girls in red take their first set. It's now even one set apiece for F2 and Signal. 25-20, the final score in that second set, and we will break this down after the break. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Abigail Marano from F2 Logistics Cargo Mover. I just go large. Wow! Bogat ka dyan, girl! First year college! Picture namin ni Mama. Mahal na mahal ka talaga yung nanay ko kasi um, siya lang mag-isa yung nagtaguyot sa amin ng kuya. Uh, nakita ko lahat ng sakripisyo niya kasi buong high school ko, wala eh. Hindi siya sumusuporta. But then, nung nakita niya na yung makapasok ako sa Lasal, bumawi siya. So kahit na may pasok siya, basta may game ako, magpapakita talaga siya sa akin. Papakita niya yung suporta niya. Oh my gosh! Ang payat ko naman dito. <laughs> Sino ka dyan? Dito sa ano na to, itong days na to, uh, mula sa isip ko na aabot ako lang makapaglaro sa pro at maging partner ng national team at maging team captain pa ng national team. Parang suntok sa buwan sa akin yun kung iisipin. Salamat kasi hindi ka nag-give up kahit anong mga klase ng dagok sa buhay ang pinagdaanan mo. Tinuloy mo pa din kasi 
maki nakikita mo yung potential mo. Lahat ng mga pinaghirapan nung, nung high school hanggang college, nagbunga na siya ngayon. Wala ka nang masyadong kailangan patunayan sa volleyball kasi nagawa mo lahat. Nakita ng mga tao yon, na-appreciate ka nila. Itong mga, mga susunod na tao na maglalaro ka sa volleyball, i-enjoy mo na lang kasi okay ka na. That touching feature enjoyed even by the audience here at the Big Dome. They're all looking up and really taking that in and really feeling it and appreciating Abby Marano. Yeah, we know Abby is uh, one of the leaders of F2. And we're looking at the statistics in the second set. Attack points, madame don uh, Natali na F2 with 16 big attack points and 10 lang ni signal. Still, nakalamang parin sa block points ang F2 with 2 and 1 ng signal. They were able to get one service ace also, but looking at the errors, F2 had more errors than signal. They had 9 errors versus six, six ng signal, but they were able to compensate that with more attack points than 16. So, um, that was a good start for F2 because especially Kalemao started that set and now coming into this third set. Siya ule ang ginamit ni Coach Bokbok. -Bok. Ang ganda ng support ni Kale on the back row with her uh, first ball and then every time that she sent sa kanyang bola, she was able to variate her attacks by cross court, a strong attack and sometimes drop ball na rin right in the middle of signal. So really, Padeng, you are describing the Kale Mao factor no? and both in her game and also just what she contributes nga to this team. They're fired up and you know why. Except Signal will always score first. They uh, scored first in the past uh, three sets. Yes, and now Tiberia starting the third set for Signal. I think that was a change of lineup for Coach Sha. Delta, you know the serve here. One of the most dangerous serves here in the PBL. Joy Baron, she is done. That's a great coverage by Signal. Lalip nung binigay ni Joy, pero napataas pa rin. That's a good down the line attack by Alaneta. Ito si Alaneta, yung mga um, attacks niya. Minsan, ang hirap din basahin. Yung cross court, tapos biglang iba down the line oh. niya. But, last minute, no? Oh, oh. But thanks to the effort of Jack Janela for the defense, you really cannot uh, no, underestimate or you really have to give credit, sabi mo nga, to the liberos. And we were talking about how this is also going to be a, a, a defensive showdown because you got Jack, you got Dawn. You know what they can do. Yeah, both of them are really good liberos. Ma may kita mo yan na akala mo walang tao do for the defense then andun pala sila. Nakapwesto pala sila doon. Sigala na lang nandun. It helps to be 4 foot 10 yata si Jack basta walang, walang 5 feet. And that comes in handy kapag libero ka kasi syempre mas malapit ka sa sa, sa, ano, eh, sa floor. Yeah, and mabilis silang kumilos at pumwesto. Oh, and Stalzer is questioning the call of our referee. No, they're saying that um, um, the first referee saw someone touch you the touch net. Yeah. I do not touch the ball. You can hear it loud and clear. Stalls are saying she didn't touch the ball. But referee staying with his decision. Stalls are is done by Tech Janela. Great cover. Oh. She fired up there. Yeah, that was a good soft attack by Araneta. Actually, it was parang drop ball na siya, just using the hands of Stalzer looking at this replay. Parang swipe na lang palabas ng bola. Kita mo medyo na bad trip si Stalzer doon na kasi mangot siya. We don't usually see her like that, but she did not like that call. And she really just has to pretty much forget about that and move on. They are uh, down by two early in this third set. And we have Franny Reyes with the report for us. Over to you, Franny. You know, we've been talking about the importance of today's game. And if you're wondering what's going through Kim Fajardo's head, 
she or they are fine. They're not thinking too much about what happened previously or the importance or how crucial this do or die game is. They told me that it's about playing the game and playing how they know they can play. Di naman bago yung situation. We're dealing with pros after all. And this is something that they're used to and they welcome the challenge. Now, she, now they told me that the communication was lacking during their game against Akari, and we actually saw a more vocal, more uh, co cohesive team from the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers in the earlier set. Earlier, before this set, coach gave them time to speak with each other, just girls, and now we're seeing that they're more relaxed, more excited, and ready to celebrate each point that they're able to get, despite that point that Don Makinili just gave the signal back to the panel. Thanks so much, Franny. You had to report over the very excited fans here at the Big Dome, just enjoying the action. But F2, really there was a lot that they learned that they had to really undo from that last match they played against Akari. And we are going to be seeing if they can really maintain the uh, level of play. But so far, Signal Lumamang. They are up by four and we have a timeout. I had to have kept it from the last set. Now we gotta fight back. Now we gotta play catch up. See if I die. One unit, one unit, let's go. Right here, up two. Movers! You know, partners, he. Uh, Franny mentioned Kadina that talagang on purpose, the coach box sometimes just allows the girls to just talk amongst themselves, and that worked out for them in the second set, and he's doing it again now. Yes, and you know, um, sometimes it's mga coaches, well, they specific instructions for the timeout. They just allow the uh, the players to talk, and para naman mas magkaroon sila mas mas okay na communication because sometimes if malaki na yung lamang ng kalaban, you tend not to talk. Eh. Parang you have your own space na lang and you're not communicating communicating well with your teammates. And that was a good timeout by Coach Block because they, they were able to um, get one point agad. Yeah, and Stalser siguro, which I think he needed Stalser to also calm down. She was a little bit uh, bothered by that last couple of sequences, particularly that call that uh, coach, uh, rather, referee Herbert Matematico called against her. But Signal keeps coming at F2, and they are now in the lead by four at this first technical timeout after that great cut shot by Cesc Molina. We'll be back for more after the break. FIBA World Cup Finals passed. The biggest basketball event in 2023 is coming to the Philippines. Purchase your FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 Ultimate Finals Fan Pass and get access to the much-anticipated FIBA World Cup 2023 Championship. Uh, along with the battle for third place game semifinals and the other finals games. Visit register.worldcup.basketball for more details. Hashtag win for all. Big lead for Signal. Five point lead already for the girls in black. Stalzer. Finding that hole. Kitang kita mo talaga. Tinarget talaga ni Stalzer. Yung area na yun, ano? Yeah, and actually, nag. First, uh, nag-drop ball na siya behind the blockers nung first attempt niya. 
but Araneta was there. He was, she was able to get that first uh, drop by Pancake. But this time, yung second attempt to manis Stalzer, Junella wasn't ready for that. And ang laki ng butas on that side. Look at talaga. Kita ng kita ni Stalzer. Oh, look at that. Kalay mau niu si hindi niya hinata o hindi na kailangan. Oo, oh, oh, hindi na kailangan. Parang proper placement na lang ng bola. Uh, easy point for Kalay and for the whole squad. And that comes from the good serve. Lindsay Stalzer, who is really coming through for her team today. And Kaf, with that quick point. Ang bilis ng dating ng mga puntos for F2. Now they're only down by two points. So they're stringing along the points, three in a row. As Stalzer continues to serve. And that quick by oh. Kaya, Riri Meneses, and look at that. She took a while. Medyo enjoy, she enjoyed that yeah, one. That was a good quick attack by Meneses. Sakto actually, Ivy was there in front of her, pero yun nga lang, hindi, hindi masyadong maayos yung pwesto ng kamay niya for the block. Good point for Riri Meneses. Stalls her from the pipe. Oh, Janela with a great up. Oh! Ses Molina did it better! Yeah, but five of Ses Molina is really consistent for this game. It was either cross court on the right or zone five, zone one, but that time naman, sakto naman sa zone one na yon, sa puesto ni Kayana, ang kanyang five. Alemao, make do. Ses Molina with her defense. Beria, ball is slowed down, but could not be kept in play. That's another point for Signal. Nabalik sa Signal ang limang puntos na kalamangan. That is a big lead for Signal. The Tiberia using the hands of Ivy Laxina there for open attack. Kaya napatawag naman ang timeout dito si Coach Bokbok. Try to bring the pass closer, closer within the three meter area. And don't put it so fast. Okay? Because it's too fast, we are not quick. We need to have a quick, quick attack, middle attack. Okay? Yeah, actually, that was a good point there by Coach Bok Bok, reminding the team you have to focus first on your good first ball. Because there are times na hindi na nakakarating na maayos kay Kaf yung mga first balls nila. That's why she, um, nahihirapan na siya mag, mag set or ma activate yung kanya mga spikers. And specifically, telling the girls to slow it down, not to slow down the first pass. And we also uh, overheard there, since also just really trying to pump up her team. What a cut shot there, straight to us, Tiberia. Yeah, grab your partner, front row. <laughs> front line attack, that. okay. Tiberia, look at that angle. Wow. Ibang klaseng kitik yun, yung pectus ng bola. <laughs> oh, oh. And that's a very comfortable six point lead for Signal in this third set. Team splitting um, first and second sets and a service ace making it a seven point advantage for the HD Spikers. Now, if you're looking at the HD Spikers, everyone really contributing yeah. to the scoring department. There's um, a lot coming from Molina, Araneta, Doria, and even Dakis and Meneses. But on the side of F2, it was mostly Stalzer in the scoring department. So. She's, uh, she will need a lot of support also from the other, from her teammates in the scoring. And just like you were saying, you know, they should take advantage of the fact that Kale Bao is back on the court. And she has been delivering for her team as well. So we will expect to see more touches for uh, Kale Mao, Iris Tolanada on the court now playing setter. Yeah, actually, the top scorers for the F2 squad is Stalzer and Kale Mao, but we're not seeing much of. Um, their quick attacks and, the, and on the opposite. Kaya medyo nababantay na rin itong signal ang uh, mga palo ni Kale and ni Stalzer. Oh, what a save there by Tolanada. The area, ball is stopped. 
Iris going up to Bagoan. Look at Riri Menezes. She is so dangerous there at the net, all alone with that block. Yeah, but good din basa ni Ria sa mga blocks or sa sets nitong um, F2 squad. <laughs> She and enjoyed she, that oh, point. Oh, really taking her time. Talaga, linasap ni Riria Menezes. And props to her, really. She has been doing her job at the net. Ngayon, nasa likod na siya. And Beria takes advantage of that gift. And what a big lead for Signal HD. That's eight points that F2 Logistics needs to catch up after this technical timeout. Gaping lead by Signal. Eight big points that F2 Logistics has to catch up. And Pintianzo wastes no time in that campaign. Nakaisa agad si Tin. Oh, actually, this is the biggest lead for this game. Signal, seven points. But coming off from that second technical timeout, may sagot naman kagad doon si Pintianzo. Going up, pushing the ball to the back, and she was trying to place the ball, but that was too strong. And that was actually a good intention there by Vieria. Yeah. Medyo si Wu, may ano niya, hinahabo niya yung pwesto niya para mahabo yung bola, but it just sailed out. And that's two points right away for F2. Vieria, the ball is slowed down, didn't so at that time, not put the ball up. Yeah, with the help of the net, soft attack ni Tony Tiberia. You know, pero pag-usapan mo kanina for F2, paneng, recalling their last performance, we saw a lot of help coming from the likes of Ivy, Latina, si Shola Alvarez, pero now they are not cogs in, in this particular match, no? Medyo hindi sila nabibigyan ng opportunity really to help out the team. Yeah, but uh, at the same time, F2 is having a hard time having good first ball. It's very uncharacteristic of uh, the F2 squad because we know that they're a good uh, receiving team. Actually, they're number four, a best receiving team. But this time, parang yun nga palagi siya sabi ni Coach Benson na walang umaabot sa center. And we have Wu now in as the barrel. There you are with a cut shot, but that's too wide, that's why. And F2 hanging in there. But this is uh, dangerous pag nasa mga 18 points na at pito, uh, pito ang kalamangan. It's really crunch time for F2 Logistics. And we're seeing the fans really enjoying watching their favorite idol nila si Rachel Andakis. Oh, that was a smart attack by Araneta. Really waiting for the hands of Irene Stolinada before spiking the ball. And, uh, palabas yung palo niya, looking at this replay. Alam mo, tama ang kapaneng. Talaga napaka-predictable itong si Angeli Araneta. Yeah. She's a quiet operator. She doesn't make much noise, pero very effective. Yeah, so far she already has 11 points for this game. Si <laughs> Tien oh. was already on her knees. And she couldn't keep that ball alive. 
and we see really F2 struggling in this third set. And again, substitutions. Kim Kennedy and Kaf coming back. And yeah. ang hirap nga na magtatayo ka pa, hindi ka nahabol. <laughs> Sayang kung hindi pa siya nakaluhod. Yeah, but good effort there by Tim Camus. Camzon. That's Wu with the reception there. Vera with the save. Stalls are going up and over the two-man block. Yeah, grabe yung reach ni Stalls. Parang layo pa sa kamay ng blockers. That was really one of her strengths no? whenever she attacks in the open. You get this replay. She's so tall. She's six foot one and so athletic. So napakahirap talaga. And alam mo gigil. She has been the one really trying to, uh, ano eh, to get the girls excited on the court or just in the game. But look at Gloria out of nowhere. Yeah, so good. Tip attack actually by Gloria. Hindi na siya. Hindi na niya pinalo eh. Parang quick drop na lang yon. Oh, oh. Ginaan sa bilis. Oo. Oh, oh. And parang long time no see si Doria. Kanina maingay siya. And all of a sudden, eto na naman. So far, she already has eight points for this game. Oh. And si Kaf really tumawin to try to keep the ball in play. But Signal is just coasting through this third set. And F2 desperate to get their plays back. Casila will come in for... Lindsay Stalzer, who will be sitting out for the first time. Usually, babat si Lindsay Stalzer. Usually, hindi lina labas. But this time, up itong signal. Laki na nang lamang. 11 point lead for this set. Ngayon lang lumobo ng ganito kalamang ng signal. It's been pretty close. Both teams with one set apiece. First one won by Signal 25-21. Set two by F2 25-20. This is turning out to be a blowout for Signal, this third set. Oh, oh and look at that! Things are just falling apart. Yeah, because oh. like, no one's really talking now on the side of F2. Yeah. They're really lacking in communication. Everyone, everyone already, um, already know where the ball is and they already know what to do. But because of no one's talking, no one's talking with one another, they na hesitate na sila bigla. So, F2 binunot si Aragala. Let's see if she will make a difference here. Of course, her fans excited to see her on the court. Kindi. Kiriminesses with a cover. Oh, sayang yon for signal. Area just hit it right into the net. That's an error on the attack by Thai. And that's a chance here for F2. We haven't seen Shola Alvarez on the court yet. She is in the stand. She played a great game against Akari. Yelkayuna with a quick again. But that one is outside. Yeah, that was too wide for Ria. Actually, you, you, you can hear her calling Yelkayuna. Tuloy, set me ball sa akin. So she's really aggressive. And she really wants to get that attack. Feel na feel ya kaya set point na eh, nandun na. But F2 Logistics will stall them once again. And wow, oh, that's a great up there by Aragala. Kasilag off the blockers, ball still good. Nice save by Don Makandili. Kasila going up one more time. That's called outside by the Lions judge. Signal. We'll get multiple chances to end this. This is a blowout, this third set. Paneng. Yeah, there are a lot of errors coming up from the F2 squad. Mapa, first ball manyan or outside attack. Parang dumadame for this, for this set. But they're challenging. Uh, yeah. Coach Benson is challenging ball in or ball out. Medyo hindi, dapat nanood na lang siya nung replay na napanood ninyong lahat. Dahil malayo talaga. Pasok na pasok, ay, labas na labas yung bola. But you know, you have the challenges. This is a, a chance to maybe ice the competition because they are just streaking and they are at the cusp of winning this third set. You do what you need to do. You have those challenges to use anyway. I 
really don't think he's hoping for a favorable outcome here. It's really more a strategic uh, stalling of the game and icing the competition. <laughs> alam na alam naman natin. Oo, malayo. Malayo talaga. At nakita nyo rin yun kayong mga nanunood sa inyong mga bahay, no? Because we just showed that slow-mo. But like we said, you use the, the challenge for many other reasons. It can be a tactical challenge, and I think that's what it is. Still set point for Signal. Angeli Araneta. Access to the back row. Yanadi just sending it over. Ayuna looking for Ses Molina, and that's good enough for a win in this third set. Signal 25 14. Demolition job for the HD Spikers in this third set. On that last play there, Ses Molina just finding that gap between the two Spikers. And even Kim Yanadi couldn't keep that ball alive. A win for Signal in this third set. We'll break it down after the break. Twenty-five fourteen. That was the score on the third set. Really, a very lackluster performance for the F2 uh, squad in that last frame. Medyo, sabi mo nga, it was the lack of communication and many other factors. Yeah, I think it all started with the lack of communication because slowly we saw the F2 squad. Parang ano na sila? Eh, Nagtitingin na nala sila, and no one's really aggressive in the scoring department and also in the defense for F2. And what I mentioned also uh, previously na uh, their top scorer is Stalzer. And she's not really getting a lot of support with the rest of the team in the scoring department. But Signal, on the other hand, all of their spikers are really contributing in the scoring. But looking at the statistics, they get lang attack points with Signal at 17, F2 at 18. But Signal was able to get one block point and three service aces for that set. And they were also um, able to minimize their errors. Now, five errors na lang, pero mas madami pa sila no um, previous set. But F2 has four um, errors for that set. But we saw a lot of um, unforced errors actually for on the side of F2. Yung mga first ball nila, mga outside attacks as well. But on the side naman of Signal, everyone is really um, making up for their errors. So uh, we'll see for this set um, if Signal will be able to sustain that momentum and definitely close this game. Yep, and it's definitely crunch time for F2. But before that, Twitter fans, are you ready for our Twitter question? For today's Twitter question, which player will contribute the most defensively? Tweet with the hashtag PPL Reinforce 2022. Tweet now. Happy anniversary, Miguel and Gia de Guzman. But here is a, a, a response. DJ says, I believe it's Dawn for F2 and Janela for Signal. When it comes to blocking, it's Ivy for F2 and Riri Meneses for Signal. What an exciting match, sabi ni DJ. Pero man sabi ni Charm loves. I think Brad will greatly contribute to this game against F2. Signal for the win. All right. We have one more. SF. The wine, Stalzer power for F2, sabi niya. So we got fans for on both sides of the court here. But I think Stalzer's power really has to emerge big time in this fourth set. Because she is the game changer talaga for, uh, for F2. Yes, and actually she's very consistent since the start of this game. Now, now she already has 20 big mm. points. But um, after her, it's Kalei Mao with 9 points. 
So sabi mo nga, they need to spread out the scoring more, no? Really, the others have to contribute. Tahimik si KKD today. I feel like Sina, not much of factor today either. And but if, they, also oh, in the if they are able to just really help out, well, see, Majoy Baron is getting more playtime today. Tale Mao, lock there. Cap will recycle, and there you go. On cue, naman to si Majoy, scoring when she needs to. And a good quick attack by Majoy. Looking at this replay, look at that connection on the quick. And the miss. And yung mga yan, matagal na yung magkasama. Oh, oh. <laughs> Magkaabuyan, alam na nila. Yung kanilang connection is well established. Oh, what an unfortunate service error for CAF. Yeah, and we know F2, as long as they have good first ball, CAF will be very, very dangerous in the setting department. She will be able to activate all of her spikers with all the combination attacks. But this time, medyo, uh, for this game, medyo problematic on first ball and yep. F2. You're right about that. Franny Reyes has a report for us at court side. Franny? We saw a super pumped up Signal HD Spikers in that third set blowout. And Ty Bieria told me that they play their best when they're having fun. And that was something that in the huddles they were highlighting, really pumping each other up, pumping each other up and hyping each other up. Now, Ty told me that, you know, playing with the Signal HD Spikers, she learned a lot of things, but she learned one thing, angas. And it's that angas that she hopes to utilize to help her, help her team. She told me that when she contributes to her team, when she puts them first, she can play her best. Now, sabi nga ni Cez Molina sa akin, all out today, no expectations. And I'd like to add no mercy. Let's see if the Signal HD Spikers can carry on that fire to finish this game strong. Thanks so much, Franny. I love that. Like, talagang angas na nakikita natin yung on the side of HD. Particularly today, kay Riri Meneses, iba yung angas ni Riri lumalabas. Oo, and we know naman Riri, whenever she gets that point, talagang magpapakita niya sa blocker niya or, the, or her opponent that she really like and worked hard for that ball. <laughs> And we see definitely Signal enjoying now their lead, of course, and really their time on the court. It shows. Sabi mo nga pag medyo mas relax at mas ine enjoy. And nakita nga natin the tension is palpable on the side of F2 naman, ano? Lalo na kaniya in that third set. Yes, and now I don't see Signal really feeling their game, especially now they're up by three points. And Angas of Ria Meneses strikes again. Look at this. We have a timeout. And the libero. And then uh, whoever is in the good position can help to the pass for both of you. Okay? Give, give, give space for team team. Okay. okay. One pass. Right now. This is when we need to turn it on. Yeah? Let's get a pass first. Here we go. Up two. Yeah. Yep, right now is really when they need to turn it on. That is... Really, the order of the day for F2. They are must-win situation here. They trail by three, but you know it was such a it was a big win and great performance in the second set. So alam naman nilang kaya nila. Oh, alam nila na kaya nila. But um, after that good game, medyo nag slow down sila nung third set naman. Ang laki ng lamang ng signal no na hindi na nakabawe ang F2. And that's giving the girls in black HD Spikers so much confidence coming into this fourth set, no? And ito na, start ng fourth, ng fourth set, we're seeing miscommunication as early as now, coming up from that attack error ni Stalzer. Signal already enjoying a four-point lead. Good stop by Wu there. Malay Mao coming from the right side, and she's blocked. They have Nessus. Yeah, that was good luck by Ria Meneses and Ces Molina on the left side, attack of Kalemao, and now Kasilag is going in. And nakikita mo talaga yung balasa ni Coach Benson dito sa side ng F2, no? Iba-iba na talaga yung pinapasok niya, different oh, oh. combinations. Abby Maraño is back on the court, Kasilag as well. This is a starting unit. Oh, it's, uh, minus 10. Tin Kiamson still on the court there. Oh, and Wu is in now as Libero. Yeah, man, I think that next to switch dito sa uh, Libero duty si Wu and Makandili. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yes, Don coming back as you say that, Pane. But really, Coach Benson just looking for the magic combination. Yeah. He can't seem to find it. Parang, um, she's really, uh, he's really waiting for the whole team to um, step up. Because everything's really working yeah. well for Seika. Walang masagot ng uh, okay dito ang F2. Tama, tama ka doon. That's a five-point lead at the technical timeout for Signal. They are looking good and we'll be back. Back at the Big Dome, and this is our main game between F2 and Signal. For those of you just joining us now, it is uh, looking bleak at this point for F2, having already given up two sets, and they trail by five in this fourth and all-important uh, set for them. And both teams are trying to barge into the semifinals, and Signal right now is just really looking good. attack there by Stalzer. And you, you can see Kaf really setting most of her ball by Stalzer. But I think medyo nahihirapan pa siya sa connection niya with the other, other attackers for F2. Of course, all is not lost, no? Siyempre, F2 still has a chance here. Oh, oh. And we know the caliber of F2. If they all come together and everybody just plays together, plays uh, solid from now on, it's a joint effort that they can manage. But, the, the challenge coming from Signa. They are playing so cohesive and really everybody's pumped up. Yeah, very much. And they were able to start this game na on a high note and tuloy tuloy pa rin, uh, coming into this fourth set. Everyone's really playing well for the side of Signal. They really want in sa semi finals. Ramdam na ramdam from the Signal HD spikers. So now gets a chance to serve here, but F2 still trails by four. Big catch-up job they need to do. Beria, that one is outside break. So these are the little bright spots that F2 needs. You mga once in a while, mga errors coming from the side of Signal, but Riri Meneses. Barely any errors, almost a flawless game for her. And she plays decoy there. Stalzer goes up. Really gets a hand on that one. The area. Oh, nice cover Janela by Chick. Was there. Also. Oh, very smart play there by Stalzer, just using the fingers yeah, of Priya Meneses. That was actually a change of pace in her attack. We all know that Stalzer, every time they set the cap on bola, strong, strong cross court or down the line, but this time, nasa eri pa lang siya bigyan na bango yung isip niya na drop ball na lang niya, swipe off the hands of Riri. And talagang hang time niya, may time siya magpalit ng isip kasi. Oh, oh, oh. Don Makandili with that dive save. Oh! And that's good enough for F2 Tim Piamson. And F2 fans, the buhay na naman. And really, this is what they need. They really need that shot in the arm and the help of really the fans to get them going. And they were able to cut down the lead by one point na lang. Abang maaga pa. Ah, okay, pakinig mo na. Ah, up pa tayo ng one. Pero kailangan tumarbaho pa tayo. Okay? Huwag natin madaliin. Huwag natin madaliin, ha? Ah. One point at a time lang tayo. Okay? Sige, go, go, go. What are you 
you liking? What are you seeing from the side of F2? Uh, nakahabol sila ng ganito paneng. Yeah, parang slowly, no? Nami-minimize nila yung mga errors nila. And coming off from good service also, nahihirapan magkagawa ng play itong signal. Kanina, ang laki ng labang ng yeah. signal. But slowly, dumidikit itong F2. Maybe also signal kasi very, ano eh, uh, kampante sila because they're in a good position. So maybe they relax a little too much? Let's see. Well, Ria Meneses, it's been Riri all day long. And after Ria feeling it, she already has seven points for this game. And all of her quick quick attacks are really working. There are times na nabablock siya, but nakakabawi siya agad. And talagang yung sipag niya to challenge Stalzer every time. And siya lang talaga yung, na, she gets a hand on these high balls of Stalzer. And also getting a service ace. Yes. Now they're up by three points. And it's nice to see, you know, because the signal, sabi mo nga, when, when they come together like this and, and it's a team effort, it really pays off. Rotation error on the side of F2, it seems. Yes, I think it was Cap who was in the wrong position. Mm. That was a costly error for F2. That was an easy point na given to signal. Talas ang mata ni referee Patrick Alan Castillo. Huli ang F2 doon. Stalls are going up again. And that's classic Stalls are attack. Yeah. And she goes above everybody. Oo, oh, oh, yung mga open attacks niya na ganun. Sobrang hirap i-block actually and depensahan. Especially if you're a high leaper and yung contact mo rin sa bola mataas din. Even the blockers, nahihirapan ng abutin yung mga attacks nito sa Stalzer. And if you, if you read, want to read Stalzer's mind, she's probably saying, you know, I, I'll, I'll give it my all, but I can't do it alone. And I think right now, she's just really needing everybody else to come together and help out in this effort. Oh, nice stop. Kasilag. And that one is outside. They're asking for a check ball. Oh, Tintiang Zon is down. Tintiang Zon on the floor, and she... We don't like to see that. She really looks like she's in pain and holding on to her ankle. Right ankle. Yeah. And you know, just looking at at uh, the expression on her face, no, parang saptan talaga. Mm -hmm. She yeah, she has helped off the court here. In Yamson has been uh, quiet but very very efficient, no, and helpful dito sa side ng F2. And we hope that isn't a, a major injury. But she will have to sit this one out. We will make sure Franny gives us an update on what happened there with Tin. Meantime, there is a challenge called by Coach Bok. Score is 12-9 with F2 trailing by three and needing, needing to win this fourth set. Take a look at what the result here will be. And again, see Tiam Son just judging it from the, the way she was wincing, no? Oh, oh. Chura niya. Tingnan nga natin if we can see after this challenge, the video challenge, if there's a black touch. And there was no clean, no? It looks yeah, clean. it was clean. And the ball sailed outside, so that's a point for Akari since Kasila hit it out. Akari, signal pala. <laughs> and now signal is up by four. Yeah. Let's take a look at what happened. Kung masilip natin to the right side of your screens, si Tin and si Makandili yata nagka, nagkabungguan mm. there on that yeah. last last play. It looks like si Tin stepped on Don's foot. Yeah, on foot. Don's foot, right? After the set. Oo. Kaya masama yung, yung landing niya. We really hope. Tin Tiam Son is okay. Meantime, Signal enjoying this four-point lead midway into this fourth set. Stalser from the back oh. row. <laughs> A tricky one for Jack Junella. And especially if you, you know that Stalser is on the pipe. Grabe talaga yung mga power attacks in Jensel's side na yan. But this time, changing the pace of her attack. Drop ball sakto doon sa gilid ng blocker. What a smart player. Mag-drop ball galing sa likod. 
na talagang maikli yung drop ball niya eh. Saktong sakto. Saktong sakto. Oh. That looks like it's off the block. Let's see. Yes, it is. The signal will get that point. So we got Maranio back on the court. Kasilag. Kim Kennedy. F2. Still needing to catch up here. Slide. That one is dug. I signal here. Angelia Araneta couldn't get that ball across. Yeah, medyo malayo yung set na yun for Araneta. Med mahirap na angle na yun yung uh, cross court. And that's a break for F2. Still trailing by three. Calf with a serve. Ayuna going for Araneta again. And try it one more time. Kandili will put the ball up for Kim Kiana D. And that one is inside. Kiana D scoring after a long while. Yeah, it's been a while, Kiana. Yeah. That was her um, third point for mm. this game. Coming up from that opposite attack. Good setter by Don. And you know, the past couple of games before this one, see KKD really came on strong. Yeah. So, yeah. And she is scoring now two in a row for Kim Kiana D. Could she be the difference in this fourth set for F2? Yeah, back to back points there by Kiana. Now cutting down the lead by one point na lang. And all is not lost here for F2, huh? They are trailing by just a point. And of course, they need to win the set to play a, a fifth decider. Oh, wow! Oh. Three in a row! F2 is back! Now we know that F2 is a good team in terms of blocking. That one, that was a good block there by Kasilag. Ganda nun. That's a great block point. And we're all even. And Franny Reyes has an update for us. Franny? Yes, I just spoke with Tim Gamzon, who let me know that she did roll her ankle on that landing. But she assured me that she's okay. I'm here on the F2 side of the court. And she's still rallying on her teammates. And as you can see, they're fighting and they want to stay alive. Back to the panel. All right, we barely caught that one with the crowd really getting into that last sequence there. But I think Franny is saying that it was a rolling of her ankle. Yes. And, uh -huh. well, we know how that is. I, Hopefully, she is able to walk that off. Probably not seeing action today anymore, no? Oh, medyo mahirap na yun, lalo na pag... Um, the, sometimes, ibang mga players hindi nagpapatape ng angle. So, it will, yung, yung sakit na makifilm mo medyo doble versus na walang... Uh, versus na may support. support right? Yeah. Meantime, Signal with two quick points there. Just giving it right back to F2 and they lead in the second technical timeout. 16-14 is the count. We'll be back. Get 300 pesos or got 300 pesos. Enjoy NBA TV Philippines. Now more affordable at single postpaid plan 290 or prepaid load 300. Watch all the action extended until December 31, 2022. Back to the action here at the Big Dome. Very close call. And let's take a look at the remaining games. For these two teams, starting with Signal, they play uh, Choco Mucho on Tuesday. And that's an important one too. Both teams kasi still have a shot at the semis. Aside from Signal and F2, Choco Mucho is the other one trying to squeeze uh -oh. into the next round. So, matake yon. Ang F2 naman, may laro din against Petrogas na medyo secure na sila sa kanilang pagpasok. They are securely in third, safely in third place. But again, all important 
for F2 to win today and on Tuesday if they want to make it into the semis. Now slowly signal. Unti-unti nang kumukuha ng puntos. Lumalaki lang na naman ang lamang nila with four points. We saw that uh, streak, that F2, that just flash of energy coming from F2 kanina, which gave them three straight points. But it's waning again. They need to get that back if they want to keep in uh, playing in this match. Signal just really slowly but surely getting to closer and closer to the 25-point mark. Iris Tolenada back in the game. Let's see if this will sh shake things up for F2. Makandili with that reception. D, too easy for Doria. Weary with that error, Sai. That was into the net, no? Yeah, that, that was, uh, the set was really low mm -hmm. for Meneses. Parang from our, from our angle, parang hindi siya masyadong tung umangat sa net. Yung set ni Kayuna. Efren Uy, CFO, or CEO rather, of F2 Logistics, enjoying the action and really hanging tight here. Kumakapit talaga for F2 oh. to make it through this match, but not with service errors, certainly. Yeah, that was a costly error for F2. Yung sinasabi natin kanina, Paneng, no? The errors on F2. First set pa, hindi maganda yung timing. They come at very crucial times. And that's an overpass oh. by Kasilag. But ball is still with F2. She will go up for the hit. Meneses <laughs> nakabantay. Oh, Don Makandili was ready for that. Don just doing her job. Look at Angeli Arneta, happy about that stop. Oh, Don Makandili! Three in a row. Stalser just tipping it over. Cesc Molina, Iris Tolonada is there. Makandili putting it up for Kiana D. Look at Angelia Araneta. Cesc Molina with a tip. Oh, good oh, save Don. by Don. Don Makandili oh. just working double time. Three ball double here time. for Signal. Oh, we know what Cesc Molina wanted to do there. Yeah, actually, yung drum ball na ni Cesc, pag pumasok yun, Don was there pa din. <laughs> So credit to the um, defense here of, Sig of F2, especially Don Makandili, really everywhere, doing everything for the side of F2. Everywhere, exactly, you are right. And the crowd just really appreciating Don Makandili's effort. She gets a breather. <laughs> she sits out for just a while. And that was such a hard-earned point for F2. And really props to the heroics of Don Makadili and this time Abby Marano with that service ace at the nick of time talaga. Yeah, so slowly gumaganda na itong kilos ng F2. And they good just have teamwork. to keep going, no? Yeah, they, ah. have, they have to keep on going. Especially three points lang ang kailangan nilang habuli para makatay sa score na signal. Let's see what Jelka Yuna does. As Molina is blocked and that is outside and look at Iris Tolenada. We saw her there with that air punch. Na talagang feel na feel ng F2. This is what they need. And the momentum has shifted over to the girls in red. And Coach Shaq knows that. Calls a timeout. Pasa lang. Ay, ay. Kailangan natin ng pasa. Team. Wala na, kayo, wala na kailangan idahilan dito. Konti na lang to, okay? Sis, konti na lang, okay? Tsaka, okay? Tsaka, tsaka, tsaka. Higyan mo sa kanya, humingi ka. Higyan ka, okay? Pasahan mo natin, one good pass, one good pass, okay? Okay? Okay, okay, okay. 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 With the momentum shifting over to the F2 side, Signal knows that they want to end it now. They're not going to want to go for a set five if you're Signal. You don't want to see that. But these fans, the F2 fans, they can feel it. Uh oh, And also the whole F2 squad is yeah. also feeling it. As you can see, if you look at them, everyone's already starting to communicate with one another. 
And I think that last rally, talagang nagpabuhay sa F2, nakita nila the team once again coming together, helping each other out. Of course, just the heroics again of Don Macandini. Right. And that last service ace by Abby Marano. Let's see if she can duplicate that feat. That's a good serve. Nice stop there by Vieria, though. Says oh. Molina. Oh. And Iris Tolonato couldn't keep it in play. There was a chance there to mama tumalbog sa net. Oh, oh. But um, at, at least, kung nataas lang yun ni, ni Tolenaga, mas madali siya ma-cover ng side ng F2. But knowing naman, says Molina, one of the go-to spikers or scorers for Signal, she really variates her attack from cross-court or down the line. Mahirap din siyang basahin when it comes to blocking. Ball right back to Signal. They still lead by three, and we have Tolenaga, who is setting now. Stalls her. Good stop by Signal. Oh, but an even better block. Ivy Latina, Kim Kiana D doing what they do. Uh, we know, uh, we mentioned during the pregame that Ivy is really one of the uh, good blockers for F2. And this time, nakaka, nakakasabay na siya sa pwestuhan ng blocking. And nakakatulong na siya sa mga double blocks. Medyo na-miss natin yun yung mga previous sets. But this time, part of this set, sunod-sunod na yung mga good, na magagandang basa and blocking si Ivy. And really, Ivy has to make more noise here. Kahit na towards the end of the, the match already. And we have another rally brewing here. Oh, oh what a smart play by Jill Cayuna. Yeah, Brilliant. Everyone was really expecting na is set by ni Cayuna yung bola kay Tai. But, but she saw na ang bilis nung dating ng bola. Direct, direct to Sakanya, over na lang niya. And she knew exactly where the hole was. And then si Kasilag ng Don just really caught flat footed. That was just an awesome, awesome job by Jel Kayuna. But Stalzer will not be stopped. Stalzer really just coming through for her team. Especially when it counts 2022 and the serve for Lindsay Stalzer. Seen a couple of service errors from her today, but let's see if she can just really carry her team over to the fifth set. This is what they need. So far, she already has 26 big points. That's oh, <laughs> good read by Dawn. Dawn. Casilla! Oh! It was tough for her, you know, the two man block was really there in her face. And look at Abby Maranyo there with her reaction. And that was tough. That really was tough yeah, for Casila. Na, like hesitate siya on that attack. And really, that's how a two-man block can really intimidate you, siguro, no? Pag nandyan, yung last-minute decision niya. Pap, iniba niya yung direction ng bola niya. Parang she, she was there for the approach for the strong attack. But last minute, she changed her mind to drop ball. But na-miscalculate na, na niya yun. Kalemao is in for Casila now. Oh! That is a costly error. That was a decision by Don Macandili to let it past her. But it was still inside, and now it is match point for Signal, and we have a timeout. Yeah, we played five consecutive in a row, okay? We've been in this situation many times. This is where we just build our character right here. One point. Oh, no! Point at a time. We got this together, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Together, go together. Here we go, F2! Movers! This is not going to be easy for F2, but they know what they need to do. Five points, one point at a time. But if your signal, ano kaya ang sabi? Ano naman ang bilin ni Coach Jack? Pasak nyo lang yung serve nyo. Well, we know Jal Kayuna is one of the top servers for their team. And so far for this game, she already has two service aces. And kahit di siya makakuha ng, ng ace, malakas pa rin yung service niya. And she had that key play earlier, Jal Kayuna. Oh, that's a big serve. Nice reception by Dawn. Stalls are playing it safe there. And it's a chance for F2 here. Kalima will go up. Uh, great cover by Jack Janela. Angela oh. a nice stop by Stalzer there. 
Mao will go for that cut shot. Angelia Araneta able to cover that one. Mao timing it. Tip ball. One more time, back set to Stolzer. She was not ready for that no, type of she attack. wasn't. Drop ball. Oh! oh! And look at these girls. Signal just brushing out. And Signal. What a deep effort for the HD Spikers, really deserving the applause from their fans here at the Big Dome. Big, big win for the Signal HD Spikers taking F2 in four sets. Angeli Araneta with that final nail there, sealing that win. Uh, it was actually a good team effort for Signal HD Spikers. Since the start of this game, everyone really played well, very consistent until this fourth set. F2 was not ready actually for a good game, itong Signal. But credit also to the F2 squad for playing their best. Um, no start ng game, medyo okay, but there are times na nawawala sila until itong last part of this set. Yeah. Medyo it was a bit too late na, dahil nagsusunod-sunod na din yung mga errors nila. Yeah, I think it's all about the timing talaga of their runs. Ano? 25-20, 25-40, 20-25, 25-21. We will break down this match after these messages. Stay right there. And that is the story. Signal HD Spikers with a huge win against F2 and getting closer and closer and with their chances bigger and bigger to get into the semifinals. Your player of the game, Paneng. Well, it's uh, their setter, si Jel Kayuna, because um, nung pag start pala ng game na to, she started activating all of her spikers na. And dami na ng mga open sets. And ito naman, may kita natin on the highlights ni Jel. Yung service, services pa lang niya nakargado during the start of the first set. And after that, yung transition plays niya for all of her teammates. Everyone really contributing. Mapa open man niya, front row, back row. And then scoring department. And daming mga naka double digits actually for the side of Signal. Yep, really great distribution for Jell and that great play that uh, towards the latter part of the game. Franny Reyes is with our player of the game. Franny? Yes, I'm with Jell Kayuna Jell. Congratulations on that big win. Now, earlier tina nung kita kamusta ang isang Jell Kayuna. So now, kamusta na yon na you guys just won against your opponent. Ayun po, uh, sobrang uh, saya namin kasi, lalo kasi napanalo namin yung game to. Sobrang importante talaga tong laban na to and hopefully tuloy-tuloy uh, na ito na yung uh, panimula para sa makapasok kami sa semis. That's right. And sabi mo nga, maganda ang laban today and we're looking forward to another great fight on Tuesday. Ano ma-expect natin from the Signal HD Spikers. Ayun, uh, kahit naman panalo kami ngayon, uh, marami pa rin talaga kaming pagkukulang at tatrabahuin and Ayun, double effort talaga kami sa uh, susunod pa na trainings namin na uh, para manalo pa rin kami sa susunod na laban at mapapasok kami sa semis. 
Yes, your fans and everyone watching the PVL Reinforced Conference is definitely looking forward to you guys fight even harder. Um, is there anyone that you want to greet? Any family, friends, or fans? Uh, binabati ko po uh, kayo na family, uh, mga family po ng teammates ko and yung pamangkin ko po na birthday ngayon, si Amber Varon at uh, Chad Kayuna and kay Jingay Bangad po. Hello. Alright, thanks Jel. Please join your super ecstatic team and let's head back to the panel. Congratulations once again, really making even more fans. She already has a lot of and daming napabilib ni Jel Kayuna today with the, oh, the great distribution and really just allowing all of her teammates to contribute to this effort. Yes, yeah, first start pa this set, she really gave the confidence na sa kanyang mga teammates. Ang dami na nakuha ang punto sa start pa lang nung first set ng kanyang um, Signal HD squad. Led by Molina, actually their top scorer, followed by Araneta and Doria for the Signal HD spikers. But on the other side naman, itong si F2. We, also, we always mention na si Stalls are yung one of their um, top scorers na medyo, medyo nakulangan sa support ng ibang kanya, ng ibang niya mga teammates. But during the last part of the fourth set, doon do na unti-unting umaarangka na yeah. yung F2. But it was a bit late na dahil malaki na yung lamang ng Signal squad. And every time na nagkaka-error naman ng Signal, palagi silang may sagot mm -hmm. sa, sa puntos na hindi na nila pinapalaki pa or pinapahabol pa itong F2 squad. And it really worked well for the Signal HD Spikers because it was a team effort and everyone really played well and everyone supported one another to get that big win. Kaya mo rin natin si Jel Kayuna. Of course, she also had two aces today which just solidifies her place in the uh, rankings of best server. And she will remain up there today too. And really, what a great uh, overall team effort by the Signal HD Spikers. And we saw a lot of their fans uh, coming out and really giving them the support that they also needed. And F2, you know, it looks bleak from here. Uh, it doesn't look like, I, I don't want to say for sure, but we were saying earlier, if they lose by four, it's not going to look good for F2 in the meantime. Signal yeah. is more confident going into the semis with their... Yeah, and for the match statistics, now we're looking at the attack points in Signal. 54 versus 50 lang ni F2. But lumabang pa actually sa block points itong F2 with 6 points versus 5 ng Signal. And service aces, hindi rin nagkakalayo dahil 7 service aces ng Signal and 5 ni F2. But look at the unforced errors. F2 had 29 errors versus 19 lang nung Signal. So we, we saw actually a lot of unforced errors nga nitong F2 from the receive oh, and communication. Oh, oh communication. Ah. Dahil dun sa uh, mga attack, uh, attacks din na hindi nag over outside. Yeah, so we're looking at the standings right now. So claro yung top three. And look at Signal, they're right at the cusp there. Talagang nandiyan na, konti na lang. And they just have to make sure they win against Choco Mucho that, that's uh, when on they Tuesday, play on, right? on Tuesday. So that's what it looks like. Really a big, big day for the Signal HD fans. And we have one more game day before we head into the semis. That's on Tuesday. Signal will play against Choco Mucho at 2.30. And our main game still with F2 going up against Petrogas, who is safely uh, in third place and on to the semifinals as well. That is at the Phil Sports. That is on November 22. Try to catch the games live. There's nothing like uh, seeing these girls in action live. And when you're in the venue, you're going to feel Again. Again.